recent case which has come up uh, in uh, you know in the past week 10 days is the archigos fire sale now Naveen said let me come to you on that uh, you know it it does remind us that we still live in a world that is vulnerable to external shocks uh, but it is just one off case and over leverage and greed are top you know you could say top broad factors that keep us uh, resulting in black swan events uh, what are your views and and you know there's another thing which i want to probably add here is that uh, uh, when we're talking about leverage we also talk about uh, you know the harshad mehta scam that came up you know leverage and greed two most important things to be very honest this is not the first case that we have seen right uh, globally uh, of uh, the over leverage uh, uh, factors impacting the markets see if you look at uh, the global investment banks business uh, which is uh, the, the banks which are or the, uh, the the large brokers who are involved in uh, funding these kind of uh, hedge funds right so one of the critical aspects is that uh, for most of them the easy money is not there right so they, you have to provide these kind of products to make money uh, right so where leverage is a very very critical component where um, the brokers make money on interest component and uh, typically um, uh, you will have uh, rash hedge funds uh, who do over leverage uh, and they are the ones who are willing to pay the most of the interest fees right so uh, so 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 what i'm trying to say here is that it's it's not something which is uh, which is going to go away with today right because we saw that what happened with uh, with archigos right so this is this is a systemic problem and it it is going to keep recurring at uh, several points in time and um, my sense here is that of course india as a country of course the norms in india are a little more stringent so we may not have the kind of leverage cases that we have uh, in the global uh, uh, market but i would say that the, this global phenomena is going to uh, continue so we had uh, long term capital management going bust in the 90s right where actually it was bailed out by federal reserve in terms of how uh, the fund was unwound right so, so these are the challenges which which have been there in the system for the last 25 30 years and it's uh, not going to go away so quickly as long as uh, cheap money exists which uh, in, in the near foreseeable future it will exist uh, 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 transaction costs are very very low so the ways to make money is through uh, these kind of business for uh, the large investment banks or for brokers so this uh, phenomena is going to continue and that's that's a, that's something which is uh, quite scary over the long term i think the problem uh, stems from a simple uh, uh, concept that they didn't want to reveal that they were owning so much of of uh, these companies they were actually own 68% of one company that's not allowed and uh, you know they don't they didn't directly own it they made the banks own it by creating a swap which the bank hedged by taking a, a counter position and uh, you can see this everywhere ltcm was extremely hedged carvi in india was extremely uh, leveraged uh, ilfs was leveraged uh, dhfl um, was cause i mean the story will we'll write about it sometime we're actually doing a podcast on this as well the, the problem really is this um, at an individual level if you're leveraged you go down your problem uh, systemic leverage is uh, where the problem is and even in india we have elements of systemic leverage that are extreme and uh, i hope none of that comes to you know uh, hurt us but uh, mm-hmm. over time the regulators in india have acted much better than the western regulators the problem is the west is so big in comparison mm-hmm. with india the size is so much bigger that right. uh, they don't care about their own institutions taking so much leverage uh, sometimes 30 times 35 times to give an example if i if i am 35 times leverage a 3% fall in a portfolio the 3% loss wipes me out completely mm-hmm. uh, and there are european institutions and american institutions that have this kind of leverage they were billions and billions of dollars so uh, mm-hmm. we do remain at risk that this will happen mm-hmm.